Hi folks, uh, welcome to the in-game mobile gameplay experience. We have a bunch of cool stuff to show you, a lot of it you've never seen before, and we have a little surprise at the very end. My name is Bill Mooney, I'm Biloxian on Roblox, I'm Chief Product Officer. With me is Will. Gorath on uh, Roblox. And Miguel. Uh, T-O-T-B-L, pronounced TOT, the B and the L are silent. Yes. So we're here to show you some awesome stuff. Will, by the way, has been working on a team. He's our technologist, and Miguel is our user experience art guy, and I am someone who weighs in on the product stuff. So we want to show you a bunch of different things. We're going to start off by showing you some stuff that we're thinking about, and then I'm going to show you stuff that's coming very soon, and we're going to end with some just awesome stuff that might be coming really soon. So the first thing we wanted to talk to you guys about was show you some stuff we're doing with characters. Obviously this is a topic that's near and dear to the heart of uh, everybody and there's been a bunch of different characters, people do a bunch of different things and what I wanted to do was basically walk you guys through some character exploration we've been doing. This is not going live, this is to show you guys what we're thinking, we welcome feedback on it. Um, so do not get excited, we're not changing the characters, we're not breaking the character system right now. We want to show you some of the stuff we're thinking about. So. Basically what I want to start with here, and I'm showing it to you on an iPad, so you'll notice the screen looks a little weird, is an experiment we're making. Um, what we're trying to do is take the stuff uh, that people already like about uh, the default character that's the most popular. Um, one of the big things there is the proportion of the character, people's ability to dress it up, um, but play with it a little. And play with it in a way that will still make it fun in the game, still let people enjoy all the things they uh, enjoy about the character, but offer sort of a wider range of expression. And then we're also going to tease something that Simon's going to talk about in about an hour. So right here you just see some rough uh, playing, and I'll start you guys at the very top. So what happens is, and like I said, pardon the movement. So at the top is an example here of existing Roblox characters of various sorts. All of this is pretty straightforward. In addition, what we've done is our art director, Al, who isn't here right now, um, did some stuff showing sort of how the Roblox character, which is on the right, compares to uh, the, sort of the silhouette and the pro uh, proportions of real people. We then did some playing with different proportions at the current Roblox size, both male and female, and we also played with some existing. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you I think you guys will find very exciting. We've also been playing with the idea of letting you have more freedom to modify. And as part of that test, we've been looking at the proportion stuff I've shown you, and you see it as the boxes here, but also playing with what stuff might look like if we allowed you guys to modify parts. The way we did it is showing existing types of characters and what they might look like in a way that we think you guys could actually do it with us giving you tools to do so. Um, at the same time, the current proportions really set a certain expectation uh, age, emotion, and experience-wise, so we wanted to play with, and I'm going to show you, this is the thing that I think we're right now the most sort of excited about, um, although it's not locked, playing with the character in a way where we slightly change the proportions. Now, this should still work in-game, we're not going to be breaking stuff, your existing stuff should work, we would keep your ability to use existing characters, but wanted to give you guys a sense of the kind of thing that we feel like would extend further um, and would broaden the palette of what you can do while still keeping very much in the spirit of what we've already been doing. So here are the examples of, from the first screen that I showed you of what stuff might look like. Um, and I also wanted to take you through one detailed character. Now the idea with this, again, to remind you is, this is options old and new. This is not about taking away what you have. This is about allowing you, <coughs> excuse me, to have sort of a broader palette of things you could do. Here, our art director played with Luke Skywalker, and you can see the idea of shapes, which something we're going to talk about CSG. Simon's going to talk about it pretty soon. This is actually something you could create yourself in studio, potentially. Um, and we're talking about whether to allow parts of the body, the entire body, etc. But this is really just to tease sort of what we're thinking and to give you guys a chance to send us feedback and give us reaction. Does this feel like a good direction? What do you wish you saw, etc. So that's the cool stuff. That is very much in it. We're playing with it. We're thinking about it. And we want your feedback. The next stuff we're going to show you is stuff that's actually happening. Earlier when we were doing the Q&A, um, somebody asked about the new nav, so I thought you guys might want to see it. And this is a test that we've been running, and basically we want to make sure that people like it, and if they do, it's something that we plan to roll out everywhere, and it's designed to work everywhere. So just to show you guys a little bit of basics, here I'm showing you on iPad, and I'm going to turn the iPad into portrait mode, and you notice that stuff will resize. Yeah, so the idea is that it's it's fully responsive, it's like aware of what device you're using, um, and it won't be like a completely different experience just because you're on a phone or an iPad 
or a desktop. So like this will be really good for like just browsing around and not having to learn you know a new navigation uh, paradigm just depending on your device. Um, We're in it. By the way, this is a test mode, so if you see games and stuff missing, don't worry about it. But you'll see some of the key nav elements. Stuff can default open or closed. We'll remember what it looks like, and we want you guys. Some of you have already seen it, presumably, but just to play with it and see how this feels. Um, as we look at it, basically, we think this is better. As long as you guys like it as much and people use it in a way that we feel good, we do plan to go live with this. Doesn't mean we're done forever, but we felt like this sort of is an update to what people like. And we've been taking a lot of feedback from players, people from behind the blocks, the community as a whole, about what we thought would update it, make it flexible across all platforms, but still keep the spirit of what people like. Just to show you guys a couple other things, I've yeah, seen so menus. You'll see that we focused, you know, like when you visit Roblox, what is like, what, what do you want to do when you first come in, right? So you'll see games and a catalog at the top because, you know, that's, those are really popular. So we want, we want them front and center, basically. And, um, you know, we won't tuck them under the navigation and we're sort of focused on, you know, what do you want to do and get you there quicker is the idea. Exactly. And on the left, you'll see we have a little menu that slides in and out. On the uh, iPad, for example, it defaults closed. On PC and Mac, if it's, your screen's big enough, it'll default open. Um, even to the point where on a very large screen, it'll be there permanently. <coughs> and phone, you'd have it as well. Um, and what we've tried to do is sort of preserve uh, all the key information without, um, we want to we spend a lot of time making sure that you can click on the stuff you want to click. So we pay a lot of attention to that, please, in sort of your feedback. We've also left room for other stuff as we add it as well. You'll notice down here, um, the stuff on the bottom isn't necessarily going to be live, but you get a sense of it. So, Miguel, uh, is there any other thing we want to make before we get to the next cool map? Um, well, just pay attention to what this looks like, because uh, when you see the next thing, it, it'll, it'll come together. Right. I'm handing over All right. Cool. iPad. So, you saw that, the cool nav, cool characters. All right, so let's go to the in-game experience. You saw the website, but look at this. This is, we've been looking at what the, the GUIs look like in-game. Like, what is the experience? Uh, what does it look like? Does it feel like it's part of the Roblox family? So we're taking a look at everything. You'll see we have the menu. It looks like the little hamburger menu on the new nav. Um, we've moved the chat under the menu. Um, we're all think we're still thinking about this. This is all in progress, but you'll see like it's starting to really tie together the the Roblox look and feel. Um, as you can see, we have <coughs> the cool touch controls here. Um, I'm demoing it on an iPad, so it's perfectly sized for an iPad. Um, but we've really looked at uh, you know color and shape, typography. Um, look at this. This is the uh, um, all my friends that are in the game right now, and it's like what you know, just like get as much um, GUI out of the way as possible, but still make it really usable and touch friendly. So like, you know, that's how you would resize that. Here's a friend request, um, you know, touch controls and look at it, look at my backpack and look at my health bar. It's like, it's there, it's front center, but it's not really in my way. We've really, you know, taken a look at, we've left, you know, the prime real estate up here, like for you guys, it's, it's for your games, it's your spot. So um, yeah, look at that. Um, here we have, you know, what are the menus look like, the buttons, um, we want it to be familiar and beautiful and, um, you know, just we're looking at everything. Here are the settings, you know, um, we want it to have some personality, um, you know, and just report your friends and it's like, um, here's the backpack, it's open, it looks great, um, and we really want your feedback. Uh, we think uh, you'll really like this, um, and if not, we're definitely open to change. Um, so a couple of things for everybody to know. Um, we're showing it on iPad. It is designed to work across all three platforms, which for us are computer, tablet, and phone. So that's sort of how we call it. And you'll see as we show you some Android stuff, perhaps, and some other stuff, perhaps, okay. that stuff would be included. Um, what we've done here, the nav on the site is actually noticeably different. Here, basically, what we've done is we've made the existing stuff prettier. Um, we'll continue to experiment with it. Please see suggestions. Please offer suggestions. You may see, you may be in an experiment where we try different stuff. This is something that's very much living, but what we wanted to do is upgrade it while still keeping the stuff that people like. So definitely weigh in. And we're also looking very carefully. We care what people say. We also care what people actually do with it. So we're actually able to tell, are people clicking more? Are people clicking less? Is it working? Do we see people getting to more games they like, etc.? So on the nav stuff, 
you've seen us talk about what we're doing to the existing product. Okay, so this hopefully is interesting and hopefully we've got a million comments lighting up, uh, but we'll be curious to go through. But this is just sort of improving what we've got. We have some bigger stuff to change and Miguel and several other people have been working very hard on something very interesting as we try and take advantage of the mobile platform. All right, so I've been hard at work for the in-game experience, um, but I've also taken a look at the uh, mobile iPad experience. So, here we are, this is a splash screen. Um, we have a new, uh, we're working on an iPad app and it's fully native. I mean, our current app is great, but it's, you know, it's... We're basically, what's happening is, for those of you who use tablets, um, what we did is, <coughs> we used our, our web stuff. And that's good, but we're experimenting to see, and frankly, whatever you guys like better is the way we'll go. This is an experiment to basically make it feel more like typical mobile apps. PC people out there, computer people out there listening, don't worry, we're not gonna break stuff. I do anticipate elements of how it looks moving back and forth. Um, but the idea is here is to play with the mobile experience because we already know from six years of work, six plus years of work, Roblox works pretty well on computer. On tablet, we think there's a lot of room to make it better for you guys. Yeah, there's a lot of room for, you know, for all kinds of stuff that is possible with a native experience on mobile. So here we have a really simple login screen, you know, not a whole lot to it. Um, create an account if you don't already have a login. And here we are at the uh, games page. Look at this. Um, so this will be a carousel at the top. This is a still, but uh, just hold on for a bit. Um, we have recently played games and games recommended for you. Um, and here we are, if, you know, what does it look like um, when you search around? In the better app, search, side note. Better search, mm -hmm. Insta search. Um, and here are all the, the popular games, the top earning, the favorites, um, all kinds of stuff. And, and this is all native and built for speed. And um, we think you'll really like this. So here are the details for a game. Uh, I think it looks great. Um, here are the leaderboards, you know, today, past week, past month. Um, you're, if you've used an iPad, you're pretty familiar with this. Um, and uh, here's my profile. Like, uh, what do you want to see when you're at a profile? Uh, you probably want to see my games. You want to know how many Robux and tickets and player points and friends you have. You might want to buy some Robux. Uh, it's all right here, accessible for you, uh, touch friendly. You know, it's, it's all great. Here's someone else's profile. Of course, you don't want to, you know, it's, it's more focused on their stuff, their badges, their friends. Um, so that's what we have. But this isn't just the concept. We're actively working on it. So let me just... As he tells you that, guys, one super quick note. The second stage is live. The feature stage is up. It's at roblox.com slash event slash bloxcon. Right, Mr. Alien? Have yes. I stated the address correctly? Yes. So correct. here's where it is. And now Miguel will show you the actual working prototype. All right, cool. So here's the app. You saw the designs. You know, that's what we're working towards. But the engineers have been doing a great job actually building it. So here is what we have so far. It's, of course, still a work in progress, as you can see. Um, but you can see, you know, the popular games. You know, it's just, it's super smooth, super fast. Uh, you know, it's just everything you, you know, you expect from a native experience. So you touch, you get the details. This is uh, test data, so. Yeah, you'll see stuff missing. Don't worry, that's just because they're working in uh, yeah. a system that's not necessarily a production app. One quick note is Miguel's showing me this awesome stuff. Uh, this will be an experiment. We are not switch, switching over the existing mobile app at all. So some people will have access to this. And again, we're going to test it. If people like it, we'll swap it out. Existing functionality in the site that we haven't yet updated will be available. So if and when we switch to this, all the stuff you're used to doing, you'll be able to get to. All right, so as you can see, all the sort, everything you want is there. Um, you know, let me do a quick search. Oh, look at that. Fast Insta search. That's fantastic. Look at that. If I want to get, if I know what I want, I can search for it and I can play it right away. Um, here's um, the leaderboards. Again, still in progress, but you can see super fast. Look at this. Super fluid um, for today, past week, past month. It's, it's looking pretty great. And just to be clear again, guys, just to hopefully we're making this crystal clear. This is not us ignoring the awesome audience and all the user issues that we care about on computer. This is just answering some new issues. And a lot of the good stuff here, like the better search, assuming it works smoothly, will come right back. So this is meant to be a unified experience, but one that optimizes for both how you use a mobile device and how people use computers. Yeah, so the, the team's been doing a fantastic job, and uh, we, we really think you're going to enjoy uh, yes. this, this so, stuff. Great job to this team. One last note, just real fast. We're coming to phone later. It's coming soon, but first we're getting tablet right. 
So the next thing, so now you're seeing something. This has actually been, uh, the new nav is live. This is very close uh, to uh, sort of early release. Now, something that I teased earlier, something that a lot of you guys have been asking for for a long time that is very exciting, our very own Will is gonna show you. Yes, I'm gonna be demonstrating uh, our port of Roblox to Android for you guys. It's something that uh, me and a few other engineers have been working on for a few months. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, good times, a lot of bad times, <laughs> mostly good times. <laughs> we but, love you, Google. <laughs> but uh, we made it happen. So I'm just gonna go through a, through a demo of uh, what um, Roblox currently looks like on Android. So uh, you can see that this is the login screen. It mostly looks like uh, iOS, we, our current iOS product, not all this really cool stuff that um, Miguel and the other people are adding. Because um, this is the most straightforward thing for us to do. So I'm gonna just take you through, uh, you guys already know what this interface kind of looks like on iOS, so I won't talk much about it, but we'll just basically, we're gonna go straight into a game here. Um, while Will's getting in the game. Again, to remind you, this is based on the existing mobile app, the new mobile <coughs> app that Miguel showed. If it works well, we'll of course bring it to Android rapidly. Yeah, so here we go. I'm coughing because the Android is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's contagious. Yeah. <laughs> so is Will. Just so. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So here we go, you can see I'm in a game right now, running around. This is a live game by the way, no special servers or anything. I'm going to try to find somebody here. This is this is live, just some random game I joined. Uh, hey, here we go. Shoot them, shoot oh, them. Oh, I did it wrong. I shot, <laughs> shot incorrectly. All right, look at that. I've, I've actually haven't played with it myself, but I'm pretty excited to see this on Android. Uh, might even get an Android tablet now. It's gonna be great. Um, so look at this. Uh, touch controls working fine. Uh, the server's filling up really fast. That's fantastic. I guess people are really excited to be playing. Um, but most of them don't know that uh, there's an Android guy in here. Uh, yeah, Will's character is made of candy, so if you destroy him, you get extra stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm kidding. Don't ask for hats. Jump around. Let's so you should go kill my character, though. Yes, Will deserves it. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, that was that was pretty oh, bad. Miguel, come on. I know. I'm a, <coughs> I'm a noob. Now, hopefully, you guys are excited to see all of this awesomeness, and hopefully, it does feel awesome because we really like this stuff, and we all love working on it. But we have another little treat. This is a little surprise, and some of you have been asking us questions about, oh, I don't know, the thought of doing Roblox. On, shall we say, different input devices, and then, bum bum bum! Oh! Oh! No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I did just die. <laughs> yes, exactly. But I'm gonna get this guy. He's using the control. There we go. So, and you never know, other people who might be listening there, Sony, Microsoft, just saying, just saying. Um, Roblox on the big screen. Roblox on your TV. Yeah, this is like the first uh, kind of like um, controller device we've got that brings it kind of to a living room experience. Um, it's running right now on Android on the Amazon Fire TV. So uh, we haven't released this yet, but this is something that we hope to do pretty soon. Like quite soon. The nice yeah. thing, by the way, is the way it works tech-wise, it's pretty easy to, for us to do this. This actually worked almost immediately yeah, on the this, device, this right? Was, this was really quick and easy. And by the way, Amazon, we love you. We like your device, it's cool. <laughs> Very excited about Fire TV. Um, and one other quick note, by the way, so far, I mean, there are about 50,000 Android phones, and I actually don't think that's an exaggeration, is it? Uh, no, there's a lot of Android phones. Um, and so far, it's working on most phones. A lot of you have Android phones. We understand that I think most people's phones will work fine. Yeah. It's different. We've Apple, done, we can test everything, Android, we, we've done like works a, on most things. Yeah, we've done a considerable amount of work to make uh, make sure that our application will run on all your devices. Um, you know, there's there's some really cool stuff like part of it's in Java. That's you know the Android kind of thing. Um, but then there's a lot of like C plus plus native code, and, and we try to make it so our game will run on any of your devices. But um, um, but if we can't, you know, you'll still be able to install it and use it. Um, 
and we'll kind of give you some some informative messages on if your experience would be a little less or something like that. But by the way, part. as a side note, anybody out there who makes mobile games, who's actually coding in JavaScript, Objective C, etc., we are hiring for those jobs. Yes. We look for people who have a CS degree who've actually been making games, though. So. Let us know, let your families know, let anybody you know who think might want to work on cool stuff like this. Absolutely. All right, well thank you folks very much. We appreciate our time. Awesome.